An ancient predator roams the depths of the ocean, a creature far larger than A.T. Rex, with jaws powerful enough to crush a car. This fearsome beast, the megalodon shark, has been absent from the seas for over two million years, but now, we're reviving these apex predators to bring havoc back to the world. While some believe that megalodons never truly went extinct, instead retreating to the deepest, most remote areas of the ocean like the Mariana Trench, it's unlikely that these prehistoric monsters would dwell there if they were still alive. Megalodons couldn't stand cold waters, they preferred the warmer seas of the Mediterranean and Caribbean, and were drawn to the coasts of California and Australia. If these ancient creatures were still around today, they would certainly pose a threat to any beachgoer. However, their first instinct wouldn't be to attack immediately if they saw you swimming. Your size plays a key role in this behavior, as megalodons were massive, reaching lengths of at least 16 meters, 50 feet, and their hunger was equally enormous. To sustain themselves, they needed vast amounts of food, consuming about 1,200 kilograms, 2,500 pounds, of fish daily, along with sea mammals like whales and dolphins. A single human probably wouldn't interest them unless you were swimming with others. In that case, you and your friends would be considered a much more appetizing meal. Megalodons could easily devour a group in one bite. Furthermore, these creatures had teeth that were incredibly large, each tooth as big as your hand. Unlike humans, megalodons constantly grew new teeth, replacing them roughly every week or two, and throughout their lifetimes, they would go through up to 40,000 teeth. If they had never gone extinct, remnants of their teeth would likely be scattered across the ocean, alongside the occasional massive carcass. However, such finds would not be common, as megalodons are thought to have lived for up to 100 years. Even if humans weren't directly targeted by these creatures, their insatiable appetite would still have serious consequences. With these colossal predators back in the ocean, there would be very few fish left for humans to catch, not because our boats couldn't find them, but because the megalodons would eat everything in sight. The reason behind the megalodons' extinction remains unclear, but it's believed that they couldn't survive as the oceans grew colder. Today, with rising ocean temperatures, megalodons would have the perfect environment to thrive and reproduce, meaning they would likely multiply, causing disruptions in shipping and potentially putting the cruise industry at risk. Ultimately, though, their existence might come to an end once again if they consumed all the ocean's resources and had nothing left to sustain them. Alternatively, the ongoing effects of climate change might lead to humanity's downfall, with the very global warming that benefits the megalodons contributing to our potential extinction. Megalodons, if they still existed, would be a force of nature, disrupting the delicate balance of the ocean's ecosystem. They were apex predators, and their re-emergence would be catastrophic for marine life, as they would consume almost anything in their path. While it might seem thrilling to imagine such a mighty creature in the modern oceans, their presence would likely lead to the near extinction of many species. With such an enormous appetite, the oceans wouldn't be able to support a variety of fish and marine animals that humans rely on for food. As large as they were, megalodons needed an immense amount of sustenance to survive. Their daily intake could be equivalent to the weight of several large cars, and they would not hesitate to feast on anything that swam in their territory. This behavior would cause a significant ripple effect throughout the food chain, with smaller predators and prey being wiped out by the megalodon's ferocious hunting style. For humans, the arrival of such a predator would mean dangerous consequences. Megalodons would likely invade popular fishing zones, turning them into a feeding ground for these ancient monsters. Fish stocks would deplete at an alarming rate, and many commercial industries would suffer because the sea would no longer be able to support the demand for seafood. Furthermore, recreational fishing and other water activities would be at risk, as megalodons might come into closer contact with human populations. Megalodons would also affect the shipping industry.
Their large size and strength would make navigation in the oceans far more dangerous. This could lead to the closing of certain ports and a halt in the operations of cruise ships, forcing countries and businesses to rethink their strategies for maritime trade. The fear of encountering such a deadly creature would undoubtedly drive the cost of maritime travel up and slow down the global economy.